call Sarah Isaacs up, who is a librarian at the Early uh, Intervention Clearinghouse, a, another wonderful resource, and um, she's going to tell you all about it. So, come on. <laughs> and you did it. Super. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I actually might I'm a librarian at the Illinois Early Intervention Clearinghouse. Um, so early intervention has been thrown around a couple times today. Does everybody raise your hand if you know what early intervention is? Bam! I love preaching to the choir. So yes, early intervention is a wonderful program. Let me draw your attention to, if you happen to still have your bag, these were on your table yesterday. This, is, this little packet is from me. And so in this little packet, um, you'll notice a couple of things that I may refer to. But one of the great things about early intervention is that it is a program that crosses economic levels. So we provide services to everyone. So regardless of the neighborhood you're in, regardless of um, where you grew up, as long as you are in Illinois, early intervention services um, might be for you. There is eligibility requirements and um, families are encouraged to have a developmental screening. And so I know that in your public libraries and in your school libraries, parents are constantly wanting to help their kids. And so one of the ways that you can do that is encouraging them to get a developmental checkup. It's a free evaluation from a state agency and it, they come to the child's home, to the family's home. It's not in a medical environment and it's play-based and so it's just about doing those skills that they're already doing on a regular basis. And of course the sooner we catch delays, the sooner they can start receiving therapy again in their home. Uh, um, for a very reasonable rate, sometimes even free, and so just a little plug for early intervention. So what the Early Intervention Clearinghouse is, is a special collection of parenting functionally diverse children, including, so it's a collection, so it's books, DVDs, audiobooks, ebooks, um, some kits, some collection, some like, uh, assessment kits or play kits and there's 1500 items that are specifically devoted to autism and so we have a really unique collection of autism materials that's birthed through the lifespan because parents are involved with their kids and as adults as children grow sometimes they want to discover themselves and so we have resources that speak not only to parents but also to adults on the spectrum all of these items are available to anybody in the state of Illinois. You can interlibrary loan them through WorldShare or OCLC. Our code is TMF. So put that in your little notepad there. TMF, because um, we freely send to all Illinois libraries. We don't send outside of state lines. And so that's one great thing. They're always in, how, in our state. And the other unique thing about the Illinois Early Intervention Clearinghouse that I can't emphasize enough is that families from all over the state can borrow materials. Sometimes we mail directly to families. I mean, that's mostly what we do is we mail to families. We are located in Champaign, Illinois. So we do have some regulars that come into our actual physical space, but mostly we mail those items out. Or public libraries, academic libraries, school libraries request our items and we send them through the delivery service. And so when we mail items out to families, we encourage them to return those items to their local public libraries and then their public libraries just route them back to us through the interlibrary loan delivery van system. So unlike a lot of other kind of special lending libraries where it involves mailing and packaging things up back and forth, 
the family, it's at no cost to the family, it's at no cost to the provider. In addition to resources for families, we have a lot of clinical and medical information for therapists, whether you're a speech therapist, occupational therapist, physician, because we have um, resources on unique pediatric needs for families as well as providers. Um, one other thing I just wanted to mention is that we also have um, really dedicated information specialists. It's a small but mighty group who are interested in helping families find the resources they need in their native language. So if finding information, um, I spoke with someone in the Rochester Public Library who has a woman who speaks Russian and her baby laps it class and maybe the baby doesn't make eye contact or show some signs might be, you know, just needs to be evaluated. So we can help provide materials in the native language that might help that parent feel more confident or might empower that parent to help do some activities at home to help their child. Um, also, I would like to mention that we are happy to collaborate just like many other places here, we're happy to come do presentations, resource fairs, whatever. So we're happy to get together with you to help your collections be better. I know one of the questions earlier was um, publishing or publishers that are good for autism resources. So two things to put down on your notepad would be Future Horizons and Jessica Kingsley, Publishers. Jessica Kingsley is a UK publishing firm, but they have amazing resources, um, birth through the lifespan, on autism and autistic um, unique needs. And so then also Future Horizons has good stuff too. Um, also, I'm happy to put people in touch with, if you have a family and you're just like, I don't really know how, what social service would be helpful to you is because I'm a state agency, we know a lot of things about a lot of state agencies. So, you know, it's just a phone call or an email away. Sometimes it's nice to just be able to have somebody you can say, I'm looking for some place where I might find um, a switch or a communication device. And so we can help you put you in touch with the right thing. So in your packet, um, I put extra bookmarks. So these extra bookmarks, please distribute those to people in your library, keep them at your children's desk in case somebody um, is asking for specialized materials. Um, and also I put in a couple of tip sheets. All of these things are available on our website that you could download. Feel free to produce yourself or contact us for additional um, resources. But I put in Autism Be Aware of the Signs. This is a really great thing to have laying out at story hour or a special needs story hour, especially, um, you know, because just some people want to be double checked that, oh, it's okay, you know, that's, it's, it's not that big deal or whatever. And then also inclusion in preschool classrooms might be something you might want to add to your inclusion in your story hours or inclusion in some of the activities you're doing in your libraries. Um, and how you can be more aware of that kind of thing. So that's what I have for you. Thank you. Are there any questions? So materials like that would be a part of an intervention program, so we have definitely resources that would help a provider um, activities that they would be doing as part of their intervention. Yeah, definitely. We have tons of resources that would help organize a therapy session as far as let's work on this skill and these are some activities that you can do to improve this skill. I was just curious to know if you work with the parent training and information centers around the state and if you would be able, if somebody contacted you, to connect people up with their local ones or... Yes, definitely. We do, we do refer people, especially when their child is older. 
Um, since we're birth to three, our collection is way beyond birth to three, so we get a lot of different aged parents contact us, and we refer to Family Matters and other training organizations. Okay, I hate to be a killjoy here, but um, with the state of Illinois and the budget, there's always been rumor lately that zero to three is going away. Does that mean you were, uh, might be affected by Great something? question, thank you. Um, and one thing about early intervention services is uh, they will always exist in some way, shape, or form because it's federal flow through dollars and Illinois would never say, we don't want any money. You know, they will always exist in some way. Um, and of course, like with any service that Illinois is currently evaluating, um, there's a question of what type, what that will look like in the future. But I'm confident that it will continue and it will continue, if not at its current level, then close to its current level. That's what we hope, right, Russ? <laughs> Actually, for EI services, which is a couple of months ago, uh, the executive branch determined that EI services could fall under one of the existing consent decrees. And therefore, if it's under a consent decree, it is funded by court order at 2015 level. So right now, anyway, there's no belief that EI services will disappear. Thank you. So I'm going to bring Russ up here. I understand that some of you are interested in um, kind of an update about um, a, a grant that we are applying for. Um, just so you know, we don't know if we have gotten it yet. So don't don't go saying anything. <laughs> but um, we want to tell you about what our plans were, just in, in case we get it. But before, oh no. <laughs> all right. Um, before I get to that, I want to make one small announcement because I believe it was Sherry that um, came over to me and said, oh, it's so cool, we got these little uh, tags in our, um, whatever you call these things, um, <laughs> yeah, the lanyards that have our names and our email addresses and, and the purpose is to give them to each other so we can network and I, I, Huh? <laughs> so I am remiss to say I, I just missed that opportunity, but I'm going to recover from this because I'm going to send all of you a list of all of your names and email, email, oh stop. <laughs> and so you can continue the conversation. So, moving along. I'm sorry, Sherry. Huh? Um, moving along, um, we have applied for um, a Laura Bush 21 IMLS uh, grant for 2016 um, where, uh, with three partners, the State Library, thanks to our director and our supportive staff, is the principal on, um, for that grant. And um, we're partnering with Syracuse University, who has this Project Enable site, um, and uh, which is not limited to autism. In fact, it's that's the sort of the section of it that's a little underdeveloped. So the plan, it, it, it's um, online modules, training modules for teachers and librarians on all kinds of disabilities. And the plan for this grant is, um, this is education, okay? It's a training grant for um, that sort of throughout the entire profession of librarianship 
in Illinois, outside of Illinois. It's supposed to be um, a piloted here and, and, and be a model nationwide, that is, if we get the grant. And so Syracuse is involved in this, Dominican University is involved with it because they are doing the piece where they're going to create curricula for students, for library students, because if library students aren't trained in autism, um, then, you know, how do we make this something that's sustainable and, and, and carried on? And, and um, which says the same thing. I'm really getting tired. <laughs> but anyway, so there's, there's, um, a, a, there's an element of it that's for incoming librarians, the Dominican piece. And then there's training um, with um, Russ Bonanno is going to um, do some follow-up training. I I'm not going to go into the whole details of this. Suffice it to say, it's a comprehensive training program. And um, the online component is going to be these mini modules that's created for Project Enable. So it's um, sort of a, a big thing with lots of pieces to it. Uh, the state libraries, I lead you team Spectra that did that wonderful um, petting zoo is going to be involved with it. They're going to continue with the work they've done through I Lead You and they're going to be doing um, webinars. And when I say they're going to be doing, please know I'm talking as if we've gotten funding. We haven't yet. Um, <laughs> and um, and where am I? And then I'm going to let Russ talk about all the, the, the wonderful thing because he's sort of the glue that puts all the different training pieces together and makes sure that the libraries take what they've learned online and in, in Dominican and make sure that they um, do what they need to do and he's going to offer consulting and, and training and it's for um, it's for public libraries and school libraries and um, it's, you know, basically systemic for all librarians if we get it. It's a start. So I'm going to let Russ talk about his piece since he's here. We were also going to have um, Sujin Huggins, who is the Dominican piece of it, but she has the flu that's been going around, so she was unable to make it. And Ruth had to leave to, to, to catch a flight home, so this is, it's us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here's Russ. Okay, so some key pieces about this, I think, that, that make it unique, that will be helpful. You know, the first is with this current grant, we've had, this is now the second forum, and some of you have already contacted me, and I've gone out and done some training. Uh, at your libraries and in a couple of cases going out to do some consultations by looking at programs or looking at websites or looking at facilities and pointing out areas that might be challenging for those with autism uh, and raising questions for, for you all to consider in terms of policies and, and development issues. That will continue. Part of that information is being used to come back in the development of an in-service training that will also be done by Dominican, uh, with the plan being that representatives of 50 libraries across the state will, at different times, go up to Dominican and attend some rather intensive training in autism services and libraries. Those people will then be resource people not just for their library, but we hope for a broader geographic area and provide some local training and some local expertise for doing things. And then I will go back in to all of these 50 libraries at some point uh, and either help out or see what's been done and help do that. All of that information together will feed Dominicans work on developing a master's level class that hopefully whoever it is that certifies master's in information and library science programs will say is now a required curriculum 
of part of the master's programs. Um, and don't feel like libraries are the only ones that leave it out because the reality is you can become a board certified behavior analyst and have never seen a person with autism. So the library program may be way ahead of even the ABA programs in doing this. And there will also continue to be these forums. Yes, thank you. So that's, that's in a nutshell, the plan for this uh, new grant. Hopefully, Suzanne, who's been spearheading this whole thing, uh, I, I told her a couple of weeks ago, this really is her baby. She started it, uh, and she's been here through it. Uh, hopefully, she'll hear sometime this month as to whether or not the grant's been approved. And, you know, I may have had an idea once several years ago, but I, you know, could not do this without Russ and without all of the support from all of you. I mean, this is what really makes it. The, the energy, the passion, the knowledge, it, it's just great. Um, I feel like all I do is connect people, and I hope it continues to grow. Um, I just want to um, thank you all so much for uh, being a part of this, for really making this happen, and I think it's been such a joy. I feel like it's been, um, it's been strange. I haven't been at a library meeting, I think, ever, where people have been just like sobbing every day, you know? It's <laughs> look at that as a, 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 a good thing, but um, <laughs> it, it just, you know, it, it just doesn't happen. So I think it's, it's, it's really speaks to the passion that, that y'all have here and that we share. And um, if, does anybody have anything they want to say before you go off on your journey home? You've said it all. next year definitely and I promise I will very soon get that list so you can connect with each other before you forget who's all here so <laughs>